Odds and ends, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Anyway, I like to be, I like, don't like being late. If I say two, I don't mean 215. Amen. Amen. And so you got 100 people and you waste one minute, you waste 100 minutes. <laughs> Just think if you waste two minutes. Amen. All right. Come on in. Come on in. Everybody. All right. Whoo, wasn't that a wonderful meal? Somebody said, uh, to Brother Baker, you ought to weigh 500 pounds. I said, well, they cook like that all. Of course, homecoming's the exception, but we, we eat it every month. We eat it as often as we can. We hadn't done this in a long time, though. Uh, was a time we'd have on a Sunday night, we'd have a call. We call it Fats Where It's At. Everybody bring desserts, and we just eat them all. You know, it's called Gain Weight Night. Instead of Lose Weight, we call it Gain Weight Night. Then the next two weeks, we had fasting month. All right. But it was great food, wasn't it? I want to, I tell you what, I, I, I haven't been to, a, well, of course, I got church here, but uh, you just ain't going to beat the cooking of these low country women. Now, our folks and other churches around got good cooks. All right. Now, listen, <clears throat> and we're going to have uh, three or four songs uh, by the McCormick's and three or four more songs by the, the Taco family. <laughs> then they'll alternate back and forth. But we're gonna try to be we're gonna try we're gonna try to be out here about three o'clock between three and three fifteen, okay? That's right at an hour. Can y'all handle our good singing? Now some of you, I understand you may you may at, you know, go to the restroom, go home, get sleepy if you if you and uh, so whatever, if you had to slip up slip out, I understand. Now we're not having church here tonight. This is the only the only night the only Sunday night of the month, we don't have night service. And uh, uh, I think last year we didn't have it because we had, we had sleet and rain, stuff like that. All right, you ready? All right, uh, Cedric, won't you and, you and your family come and sing maybe three or four? Then we'll get them sing three or four. Then get y'all sing three or four. Then get them sing three or four. And then we'll go back and sing five, six more. Uh, we're going to pray. All right, now let me say this to you. <clears throat> We come to have a good time, right? Amen. But you never know what the Holy Spirit may order. Yes, sir. Amen. If you feel like saying glory to God, hallelujah, clapping your hands, that's okay. All right. But you never know. Sometimes God sends a, 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 a holy hush over a congregation. My point is this. Uh, the Lord speaks your heart about anything. You welcome to the altar. Spend some time in prayer. We won't disturb you. Okay. And because uh, that, that happens sometimes here, we have folks come, burden on their heart, praying. All depends on what God sends. All right, do you believe in the Holy Spirit having His way? That's what I believe in. All right, well let's pray, and then we'll enjoy some good singing. Let's bow our heads. Now, Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the wonderful meal we just had. Thank you for the service earlier, dear Lord. And now we ask you once again to bless this singing, Lord. You tell us to. Uh, sing spiritual songs and hymns, making the melody in our heart. And so, God, I pray that's what will happen today. <clears throat> I'm glad you're God. One of these days, we're going to get a new song. Lord, I'm thankful for the songs down here. So, Lord, bless all that goes on this afternoon. We praise you and thank you for it. In thy name we ask it. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Don't you like your painting over here, your mural? Don't you like that? I love it. Amen. Jesus saves, Jesus man's only hope. See these people out here? They're waiting to get on this boat because the storms of life sometimes can overtake us, amen? Storms of life can be rough, but you know one day we're going to be out of here, say amen. One day the lifeboat's coming to get us and take us home to heaven, amen? All those troubles, all the trials, all the problems going to be over, we're going to be out of here. That lifeboat's coming. I can't wait to be on it and get out of this place. Say amen. We're floating down the stream of time and we have not long to stay. The stormy clouds of darkness will turn to brighter day. Then let us all take courage for we are not left alone. The lifeboat soon Trials. 
title song of our brand new CD. Make sure you get it after church over there uh, this afternoon. Don't forget, check out the um, Swataco family CDs. Hey, they need you to buy them and you need you to buy them. Amen. You need to infiltrate your life with good, godly Christian music. Hey, the world has a lot to offer, but we don't need what the world has to offer. Amen. I tell everybody this. If you like our kind of singing, I want you to buy two or three of those CDs. Say amen. 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 If you don't like our kind of singing, I want you to buy 10 of them and give them to 10 people you don't like. Amen. Amen. So if somebody gives you some CDs afterwards, you know what's going on. Amen. (laughs) What a blessing. It is good to be here. A happy homecoming, and we're just thrilled to death to be here with our friends. Thank y'all for having us. Do pray for us. Get a prayer card. uh, Check out those things and et cetera. Hey, I'm thankful that the Lord Jesus Christ has always been faithful to me. Yes. Now, I've not always been faithful to him. 
But he, there has never been a time that he's ever failed me or let me down. Amen. Amen. I'm so thankful that I can always rest and trust in knowing the fact that he's got my back. Amen. Did I mention that I love him? that Jesus can take care of you. No, we just sang about him being faithful, amen. But here's the thing. He knows just what you need. He knows when you need it, and he knows how much you need. Say amen. amen. As he's always been faithful, I know that, but sometimes I still doubt. Listen, it's like this. When the preacher gets a report that he's got cancer, I've got plenty of faith because I know that God's going to take care of him. 
when you get the bad report from the doctor, I know God's going to take care of you. But you know, when I doubt and worry, when it's me, see, I got all the faith in the world I need on your behalf. But it's lacking when it comes to mine. That's because I'm, I, I don't have the faith like I ought to have. I thank God I have more today than I had 10 years ago. You buy you a bus and see what faith will do to you. Amen. <laughs> what a blessing. Amen. God will help you with your faith. But I'll tell you right now, I'm nowhere near where I ought to be. Here's how it is in our home. I've got the yellow legal pad, the calculator, the big eraser, and the pencil, and I'm sitting up at 2 o'clock in the morning trying to calculate to see how we're going to make it all work. You know what she does? Well, if you'll turn out the light, we'll save that much money. I'm like, shut up, woman. She's like, didn't God take care of us last month? Yeah. Hadn't he gotten us here so far? Why do we worry? Why do we fret? Because the truth, folks, is Jesus knows how to take care of us. Amen. Jesus can take care of me. talking about different things in our life that the Lord has um, proven time and time again. And you know, we're just like everybody else. We sit and, and worry and think and figure and <laughs> try to plot and plan. And then my preacher's wife, before she went to heaven, she told me one time, she said, you know, Tanya, we plan and then God laughs. <laughs> and I'm like, that's probably true because we have all these things in our mind thinking that the Lord's going to work out this or do this, that or the other. And the Lord is up there going, no, that's not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it to show myself real. 
And it's awesome to think that the same God that parted the Red Sea, turned the water into wine, helped Daniel in the lion's den, that that's my God, that's who I serve. As I kneel in the darkness, in the middle of the night, I'm praying for assurance that everything's going to be all right. But then I see another battle out in front of me, and I'm afraid I won't be able, and I'll go down in defeat. But he
sainted pilgrims gone on before. Loved ones who've left us now wait on that shore. Sometimes their leavings left me lonely and blue. Till Jesus whispers, I'm coming for you. to sing about Jesus, my Savior. I'm thankful that he saved me. And uh, 
I'm thankful for all that good food. It sure is hard to sing after that, though. <laughs> I look around and I see some little ones around here. And I love to see young people in church. And us older ones, hey, we got to make it exciting for these little ones. If it's not important to us, it's not going to be important to them. And uh, I want to sing them a song. Remember the song uh, uh, about Cain and Abel? Remember the story about Cain and Abel? A friend of mine wrote this song, and it's real spiritual. It's called, You Can't Get Blood from a Turnip. But I promise you, it has a good message in it. I just hope I can get all the words out. Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel were the kids. Cain was an Abel's keeper and would never raise Cain, but his mom and daddy did. Soon Cain became the tiller of the ground, the shepherd of the sheep was Abel. And Abel, he managed to please the Lord, but Cain just was an Abel. Now Abel brought a sacrifice to the Lord, offered up sweet-smelling savor. Searched till he found the best lamb he had, that's why the Lord showed him favor. Then came from his garden, brought vegetables as he watched his offering burn up. Without a doubt, oh, Cain found out you can't get blood from a turnip. You can't get blood from a turnip, no matter how hard you try. Because if you could, then Jesus sure would not have bled and died. Now if you ever get salvation, you'll find you just can't. free and there's just one way to get it the blood-bought way of calvary and it took jesus to shed it well you just can't work your way to heaven and if you don't learn it you'll find soon after you bought the farm you can't get blood from a turnip you can't get blood from a turnip no matter how hard you try because if you could then jesus sure would not And you'll find you just can't earn it So if you're able, take Cain's advice You can't get blood from a turnip You can't get blood from a turnip No matter how hard you try Cause if you could, then Jesus sure would not have bled and died Now if you ever get salvation, you'll find
baby. Um, and Cedric was real old when I married him. <laughs> so we didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> and, and we know we've got three little ones in heaven. And then God, through a miracle, blessed us with Titus Amen. here on earth. And um, when Titus was just little, I would take his little high chair, and it was one of those that raised and lowered, and I would lower it and push him up to the piano. And I would just show him, you know, don't bang. And here's this. And, and I remember sitting there praying, Lord, touch, touch his hands, touch his heart. Give him the gift of music and help him learn to serve you. Well, you know, as moms and daddies, we pray things. And honestly, sometimes we pray things and not knowing, well, Lord, are you going to teach him that or not? Or just give him a heart to want to serve you. Well, just a few years back, one Sunday morning, we were getting ready for church. And um, it's probably been four or five years ago now. And Titus asked Cedric if he could sing with us that day. Can I get up there and sing with y'all? And that was back when Kevin was traveling with us. And so we, you know, yeah, you get up there. So for a little bit he did, and y'all remember some of you, he had yawned halfway through some of the songs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he just kind of did his own little cute thing. Well, the Lord has touched Titus. He can play eight instruments. Amen. And he can play them. Wow. I mean, I sat and looked like, you were really playing that. And the Lord has um, has given him an organ. He got all that from me. <laughs> <laughs> a church in Virginia that supports our ministry gave him an organ. We keep it at home. He's now got a new mandolin, a guitar. And he plays and sings all the time. And we're so thankful that he does that because he wants to serve the Lord. So he and I have put together a little, actually he put together a little duet and he lets me play the little doo-wop in. So we're going to play it for you. It's called Just a Little While. Just a Little While. Okay. Aren't you thankful that God knows who we are? You know, we've already sang about that and all. But aren't you thankful that He knows just who you are? He knows the same God that knows how many grains of sand are on the seashore, knows how many stars are in the sky, knows how many hair in my head. Amen. He knows your name.
amen. I'm, I'm thankful he knows my name, amen. I'm glad that he hears me when I cry. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't it just good to know the Lord loves you today, amen? Um, we're going to sing a song called Thanks. It's an old song uh, to some degree, uh, but we've just recently learned it ourselves. But it's a, it's a great song just talking about how much we thank the Lord for all that he's done.
Just as Abraham and Sarah, who were promised a child, when it seemed impossible, God gave them a smile. Then there was Daniel, who fervently prayed and found him to be true in a child.
get up out of bed saying I can't do this again have you ever been afraid of what tomorrow's gonna bring and you're facing it alone at least that's what you think I can tell you after going through moments that he held me and I know you'll find he will carry you when you can't go on he will be your strength when your strength is gone he will lift you up he will be enough to get you through when the road is long and you want to quit cause you think you've got nothing left to give you can he will carry you when you get the kind of news that you hope you'd never hear when you're chasing down a dream just to watch it disappear when somebody that you love Jesus.
Because he can, he can carry. You can't, but he can. So maybe at this time, if you're able, if you can't, just make that pew an altar. Maybe you're going through something. Lord, go help you. Just hold yourself. Seek his face. He'll carry you through. Maybe don't somebody who's going through something. You might want to come and intercede for them. Amen. So they're going to sing out the second verse again. But if you need to be saved, it's time to get saved right now. We're glad to take the Bible and show you I can be saved. So as they sing us that the second verse of that song. God burns your heart. And if he has, you'll come pray. You come pray. Or you can make that pure prayer. Amen. Sing that second verse. When you get the kind of news that you hope you'd never hear. When you're chasing down a dream just to watch it disappear. When somebody that you love turns and walks away and they leave you standing there with sadness. God doesn't need to learn anything. You know that? He's never, he's never had to plan anything. Sorry. He's never had a second thought. Never had to guess about anything. Isn't that wonderful? That's our Lord Jesus Christ. He knows all about you. Well, it's been a great afternoon, hasn't it? Wow. Well, you visitors who are here, you can uh, venture out now in a few, moments, few, few minutes and head home our our folks, we got to clean up. We're going to eat again before we clean up. It's been a good meal there, hasn't it? We had a good meal for preaching, had a good meal for singing, good spiritual food, and then some good physical food too. Amen. Now listen, I want to encourage you. If you'll, if you'll spend all kind of money to go here, there, and yonder, $50 on a meal, you and your family, and buy this and buy that, and that's left up to you. Well, I sure hope you'd come by and check, check these CDs out. Good. Everybody, your kids need good to listen to music. Just cut the TV off and put some music on. Amen. And it'll bless your heart. 
and I hope you'll do that, okay? So if you'll, when we dismiss, just make your way over here, over here, and uh, get some good music for your family. All right, let's stand to our feet. It's been a great day, hasn't it? A wonderful day. Somebody says we hadn't received an offering. Well, we're going to break, going to break Baptist tradition and not see, receive one. Now, we don't do that. We already received our offering day. Our church is going to give these folks a nice, good love offering from our church, and, and we gladly do that. It's been a great day. I want to thank you for coming today and being with us. I really do.